I see what home, chaps and chap, it's Game Chap and Bertie here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows. I dare say now here with Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate on Nintendo 3DS once more, and this time upon the rather exciting mission to slay the Great Jackie as part of the first caravan area questline. Most certainly, this is a Monster Hunter 4 brand new edition that's just come out, and we're going to see what we can do this time round. Exactly, I see. Now, of course, our first stop here is over at the Blacksmiths, as you'll be able to observe on screen now, fellows. I dare say we've been out hunting and gathering whilst you're away, and we have gathered various items to, shall we say, upgrade our equipment. Now, as you can see here, I have two blue armor spheres, and I'm going to use those to upgrade my alloy coil from last time. There's two there. There's one on the alloy coil, and of course, one on the alloy greaves. Now, that right. will give us, because we have the whole shiny alloy set there, as you can see, Anna here is wearing the whole set, she'll now have a staggering, for her level, 66 defense. That's quite good, you know. 66 defense, and that's a lot of defense for a player this early on in the game, as you say. Precisely it is, old chap. But, but you'll need it for this Jaggy. This Jaggy's quite a tough chap, exactly. You need to look at armor defense first. The higher it is, the less you get hurt. Well said, the blacksmith there. Right, okay. Now we're going to just upgrade a weapon here. We're actually going to change over to our iron katana this time, Vales. Okay. Last time, we used this weapon here, which is the bone. However, as some of you chaps commented, it loses sharpness quite quickly and starts to bounce off the enemy, and that's no good. You can't be sharpening up your weapon constantly in battle, I say. Most so certainly. We'll change over to the Iron Katana and upgrade that to the Iron Grace, which has a nice amount of yellow bar there, indicating it won't get sharp, uh, get blunt rather so quickly. Yes. So there Most we are. Certainly. We're going to upgrade that to 231 attack with a nice bit of yellow and orange on the bar there, right. thus giving us a good chance to fight him and do some damage without having to constantly sharpen up. Most certainly, yes, that's one of the things, if you're not sure on how this works, your weapons, as you use them, they become blunt, you see. That's right. Now I this mean... lady here, strolling up and down the street, she yes. will eventually, after you've done enough quests in the quest line, have dots about her head. First you'll have to do one particular quest for her, and then she'll unlock this quest here. Oh, Double right. Drat, she says. Yes. Indeed, she has of course, uh, after the Jaggy Obliteration quest, she has of course another quest line for us, which is in fact the Great Jaggy, who has parked his oversized behind right in the middle of the passageway. Anyway, right. there we are. So of course the ugly Great Jaggy is our next objective, and we'll have to take him out now so she can get home, basically. Ah, I see. Right. So yes, all right. Move to it, my dear. Don't you worry. That's why we upgraded. Exactly. So we should be well equipped now to fight this loathsome beast. Yes, how we have clearance expedition now, so thank you, idea. There we are. Let's yes. have a look in the number two quest line here to find, of course, the Jaggy Alliance. And the objective here is to hunt a great Jaggy. He's a nasty chap, you know. Right, okay. There we are. We have taken on the quest. There we are. Now, of course, before hunting, we'll go and stop by here on the canteen and eat some food to uh, prepare us for our battle. So, so this is how, so you, when you do this, it actually increases your stats in the battle. Is this correct? That's right, old boy. Right. I think we'll have, let's see, we'll have moss, pork, and scalefish this time, which should bump up our attack power. Right, okay. There we are, good as me, she's as happy as Larry eating that food as you can see, my word. Very good, it. hearty meal. So, let's see, it was a luxuriant flavour and received increased stamina and boosted attack power, as well as, let's see what's this now, feline polisher, which speeds up sharpening time, rather handy, plus our attack is up on 240 now. So there we are, we have a slight advantage with which to take out this chap. So, before we go on the quest, however, report to your item box videos and make sure you are suitably, pre suitably prepared. Any items gathered from previous quests, place them into the box like so, and and make sure, of course, also, that you have enough potions with which to deal with this chap, because he will do you some damage. Most certainly. So stock upon your potions there, and also your rations, so that you can, you know, increase your health if you get knocked, or when you get knocked. Your stamina, place. actually. That's right, old boy. Oh, and I, I didn't mean to take the ivy. I want herbs instead. There's the herbs. Herbs? The herbs, indeed, old boy. There we are. We'll have one herb. No, I think we'll have four more, taking us up to the total. And also, if you wish, you can go to your combo list and craft some potions, and then Ooh. some mega potions, which are rather handy items, using honey. So a mega potion is a standard potion, plus honey, and that recovers lots and lots of health in the event that you are wounded. Yes, and of course, you can get honey when you're out there. You can go along and just harvest the honey when you're out there on the fields, it were. You can, it's rather handy. There we are, six mega potions. Now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would we say to you, rush. a top and on and, and, and forth and, and, and out and, and, and forth into things the like that, you monster thing is. Exactly. There we it's are. monster jaggy. We're setting forth now to meet this great jaggy and meet out some punishment on him. So this is exciting. It's quite exciting. I'm glad I came along. Indeed, let's first get some items here from the chest, the standard four items there, Fedil, yes. the whetstone, ration, potion, and map, and now we can see where we're going. And right. of course, our, our, our yellow stamina bar there is already quite high, so let's just keep going now and see if we can track down this loathsome beast. Right. <laughs> 
Now, of course, Anna here, equipped with a katana, which is a fast-moving weapon and has a rather useful combo attack, it allows you to stay fast on your feet whilst dishing out a decent amount of damage, and also, it has the ability to fill up a special charge bar and unleash a super attack of sorts. Ah, so we're learning quite a lot here on how to play this rather in-depth game, Monster Hunter, are we not? It's quite in-depth, you have to know exactly what you're doing, and of course, as you're seeing here, you won't just be able to find the monster straight away, you've got to locate him first. Exactly, you have to go and find out where he is. I wonder where he could be hiding, old chap. Well, I don't know. There's, there's lots of little monsters around there, but that's not the one we want. No. When you find the boss monster, you see, you'll encounter a cutscene if you meet him for the first time. Oh, I see. Right. My word, Phil, we're already atop the monster like so as part of the cutscene, and let's use the A button here to keep mashing away on his back and hopefully bring him down. Let's Whoa, see if yes. we can. There we go. He's got bad breath and bad manners, this one, I say. Yes, so, so let's approach now. There he is in the ground. Let's go attacking him like so. You can only just make him out in the water there, but he is there all the same. So we're using the XXA combo here, and then, of course, the R swing attack to right. do lots and lots of damage in one fell swoop like that. You okay, see. now there we we're, go. we're surrounded by these little jackies as well, which exactly. will also get in the way, so watch out. They'll get in the way. You can take those out if you like, although really they're not too much of a threat at the moment, old chap. Right, okay, now we better tell them as well to keep an eye on that health bar. Yes. So if it goes down too low, you could quickly press the ration and get some health up. That's right. Now, a bit like the other chap, we are very much just laying into him over and over again whenever we get the chance by using the XXA combo. So let's see if we can get that AXX, AXX, etc. and so forth. Yes. And when your bar at the top left is charged with the full red butt meter there, you can unleash a mighty powerful series of slashes like so. But watch his counterattacks, though. Oh, yes, most certainly. And of course, he doesn't have a health bar so you're not going to know when he's near sort of dead. Oh, you that's just right. Keep hacking away and just hope. It's not like other games like Star Fox or Metroid or something. It's no. very much a matter of you don't know how much health he's got unless he's limping, so it's quite hard to say when he's going to go down, you see. Well, yes, he most certainly is, so you'll be rather careful. Um, how are we doing? Yes, we I think we're doing quite well. Unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to land the final slash of the spirit move there, as it's you known in the game, but uh, nonetheless, I think we're doing lots and lots of damage to this chap. I can't see him lasting too much longer at this rate, Elbow. Not why? at this rate, no. No, I don't think so. He seems to be taking a lot of flack there. Now, you'll notice, of course, Fedeos, although he's doing some damage to us, because our armor rating is so high on 66, which is very high for our level, he's not actually causing us that much pain. Well, I don't know. He's knocked down, what, uh, looking nearly half the bar already up the top there. There we go. That's a knockdown, I say. Oh, let's get in there. Let's get a final slash if we can. There we can go. We? That upgrades the weapon to uh, the yellow meter there. Now right. let's quickly back off and use our uh, mini whetstone here because, of course, we have uh, uh, just had a, a bit of a blunting of our weapon there. Yes, I do have. think he's going to run off. Indeed, there he goes. He's limping off in the distance there, oh, I say. He's limping in the distance. Now, just to let, our, our, just yes. to let the chap and chapets know there, yes. you can actually sharpen your weapon on the field with the whetstone. You can. That's quite right. The mini whetstone or the standard whetstone will do the job, Fedeos. He's limping off, which means he's already wounded. And I've just used a first aid aid med there to recover some health after he chomped us quite a bit. So there he is over there. He's over gone there. to the jaggy den, so let's close in once more, wait for the opportunity and start attacking. Now I'm going to show you something here you can also do, Fedeos. Right. If you are close to a ledge like this one, for example, climb the said ledge, wait for him to get close to the ledge, then roll off the ledge with, with B and strike using X once you've seen him. Now where's he gone? Let's have a look, um, shall we? He's come up there with oh, you, He's come up here to say hello and join the party. Yes, oh dear. He's done that trick too. He did it, old boy. So in this case, we're going to climb up this ledge once more. And also another tip there, if you press Press the picture of the monster on your bottom screen and then tap L, you can keep targeted on him all the time like so, you'll see. Ah, oh, right, yes, keep him in your He's sights. He's doing a runner again. He what? Seems to be Get a... back here, He's you delinquent. Look at... He's limping. absolute can, I say. No, he's gone inside his lair. Oh, no. Dead. I can't believe it. Perhaps he's gone to Area 3, Fedels. Let's just keep moving around here. We can't let this chap get away, you know. No, no, no we certainly can't. He's doing a runner, old boy. He seems to be, yes. 
No, 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 he's he's gone for good now, old chap. Goodness me, he must be so low on health he's trying to rest, I think. I think so. Well, if we go back there, let's have a look and see if we can find him. This I think we should keep moving here. We're going to go to Area 2 now, Fadios, and stay on this chap's tail. I think he's currently in a different area. I suspect he's gone to Area 4 or Area 9, however, because there are jaggy layers in both of those areas. Right, it could be, yes. And as you can see here, these monsters will move about. They don't just stay there for you to hit them. They'll move about from area to area. Then you have to go and find them. The good yes. thing this, though, of course, is... They do retain the damage they've taken. That's right, yes. See. Sometimes they'll go to sleep or whatnot. He's in this area, Fadeos. I can see him on the bottom screen here. His icon is illuminated. And where has he gone? Hmm. Perhaps he's asleep. What do you think? Huh? Asleep? Well, I suppose uh, he might Well, there's his minions there. So where's the big man himself? He must be hiding perhaps under there. I don't know where he's gone. Well, we'll have to hunt him down. That's there he about. is, over there. Hunter. That's him there, I say. Is he? Yes, he's having a... No, that's not him. That's no. not him, is it? They're just basking jaggies. He's gone to another area now. Ah, oh, right. Oh, I see. He's hiding from us, you know. He seems to be trying to evade us, yes. He's trying evasive manoeuvres. Let's try area nine. That's a known jaggy haunt down there. Okay. We'll try that area there and yes. see if he, perhaps he's run over there to join his comrades. Right. So we're just going to take a right-hand turn here for Hills and see if our, our man is here or not. The monster, he is indeed here. The right. Monster. He's down there, you'll see. Oh, right. You see, the, you see the targeting there? He's see underneath there. this particular bit of webbing, so perhaps we can launch a surprise attack on our guest here. Like that. And and no, he's gone. He's there, in fact. He's having a nice little kip, you know. Ah, there he is. Right. But unfortunately, sadly, we haven't got any bombs to give him, I say, so we'll have to just slash him like so and use the free hit, I suppose. There right, we are. Right. right. I'm sorry well, to wake you from your nap, old boy. We have to do this, you know. You're blocking the path, you'll see. Right. Okay, there he is. If you had some bombs there, you could use them on him and unleash a powerful explosive attack, but sadly, we didn't have any, you'll see. We did. There we are. Never mind. We'll have to uh, circle back around like so and keep on the assault, but I think, old boy, he's going down now, you know. He's, I... well, he's not gone down yet, has he? But he's on the ropes, I think. We have to keep hitting, I think. For him to just does. run off and stink like that, he must be low on health, I think. Must be. And of course, when you do eventually beat him, nasty attack there, when you do eventually beat him, make sure you carve him up to get some good items. Oh, he's there, he's on the run. He's on the run, he's going after Bertha, our kitty. Leave Bertha yes, alone, you yes, monster. He's going for Bertha, How the kitty, could yeah. you attack Bertha like that? I don't but know. Now he's paying the price. Look at this, I say. He most certainly is. Yes, he's taking There we nine. go. He's taken a mighty hit, and our sword has reached red level, which indicates it does the most damage possible outside of, of the weapon, I should say. Anna, could you turn around, my dear? Now's no time to be punching air, you'll know. Yes, uh, that's it. He's eating. He's eating, I say. What? I don't know what he's doing. Let's keep slashing him, shall we? And yes, keep him hitting him. There we are, we'll unleash our uh, powerful uh, spin slash combo and Ooh, down he goes! There he goes, right. Ah, there we are, Fadeos, our monster is felled, and now, yes. of course, with him in the fell position, you can go up to him and start carving for lots and lots of items. Right, quickly then, what do we get? Let's do it, shall we? There we go, let's see what goodies we have for this, Fadeos. A Screamer Sack. Screamer My Sack, yes. I've never heard of that before, old chap. What do you have now? Only in Japanese, I think. Yes. A Screamer Sack, a great jaggy claw, a very useful item. Yes. And let's see what else we have here. It is, in fact, after a small delay there, the Jaggy the Scale. Jaggy well, scale. bit of a disappointment there, but anyway, we can keep, of course, gathering from the region until the timer expires, so you may as well gather the bones and whatnot. They're very useful for making things like weapons and upgrades, etc. and so forth. Most certainly, you'll need all of these. You see, it doesn't just happen. You've got to make things. That's right, I say, an unknown skull. That's a bit, bit more real, Chad, isn't Never it? Never mind. We'll take that. Could be useful for something. Two more mystery bones there, and I, I think there is a recipe that demands root mystery bones. I've forgotten what it is. We have an absolute barrel load of them now, old chap. Yes, there is only a recipe for something. I'll Two fossilised bones there. Plenty of right, items okay. going. And and of course, if you're feeling particularly plucky, you could try and clamber up this ledge here, but I don't think we're going to make that in time. No, we're not, but never mind. Right, just never have to mind. keep climbing, I suppose. At the top here, there is in fact some rather rare blue ore, if that's your fancy. Right, okay, we're not going to make it. We're it, not going it to make it. It takes you automatically back to the town, doesn't it? It does, old right. boy. All the same, we can break out the whiskey now because we have completed the quest, you know. We have. We have destroyed the great jaggy, but what happens now? Now, of course, we're going to send all of those items to our item box, Fedels, and if you got this far, congratulations, you felled that brute. Yes, you have. Ooh, yeah. There we are, Good a job. new record for the Great Jacket, 934 centimetres, and we have a new title for that too, lovely. Right, most certainly, but um, of course, you had to get those upgrades and things yes. to give you a good chance against him without that armour, well, you probably wouldn't have made it. That's right, old boy. Now, let's see what awaits us back at the camp here. Hmm, I don't know where this is going, old chap. Oh, I don't know. Speak to the leader now, let's have a look, shall right. we? No, he doesn't want to know us. He's just sort of nodding and saying, yes, we'll get on with it, I well, suppose. He's happy, yes. He's happy, but of course, using our newly acquired items, we should be able to go to the blacksmith once more. That's a good he idea. He has come up with a new armour design made of great jelly parts. Oh, useful. So, ah, I see. Less prone to being stunned, you'll say. Interesting, right. interesting. So, right, okay, in order to do that, of course, you'll need to fight that Jaggy over and over again. Let's see what he's got on offer here, shall we? Right, A okay. Jaggy helm, ah, uh, right, that's not too bad looking, is it, old chap? Not bad, it's Quite okay. stylish, not bad, Yes. And let's have a look at the chest plate here as well, that is... Oh, he doesn't have a chest plate! Doesn't he? Oh! 
Well, here's Jackie Van Braces, though. They're not too bad, I suppose. Okay. Some gloves there. Not too bad. And a waist uh, piece there, the folds. Okay, that's a bit sort of monster-like, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. And also some leggings there, Jackie Greaves. Okay. I suppose they'd be in fashion now, but anyway, we can, of course, using our newly acquired items here, go yes. back to our sword, and we can now, using those two claws, upgrade the Iron Grace to an Iron Gospel. Ah. Well, we could firstly take a look and see if there's any new long swords available, but there aren't. So no, in this case, right. we shall upgrade our equipment now to an Iron Gospel, which does 264 instead of 231. Very, well, yes, very respectable, I think. Respectable. Now, if yes. you'd like to upgrade that any further to the best upgrade here, the E, Eager Cleaver or the Ice Blade, you're going to need some special items which aren't available in this region. I think they come from the next two areas, so you'll just have to hold your horses and be done with the Iron Gospel for now. Right, okay, so what can we do with the Iron Gospel now? The Iron Gospel is, of course, a rather powerful item. However, as I said before, thank you, my good man, yes indeed, there we are, let's forge some armor. If you'd like to start forging the jaggy armor pieces, you won't be able to do that unless you first gathered more of his parts. You'll see, no, right, you'll okay. need hides and claws and all whatnot, okay. so that will entail fighting the jaggy over and over again. Ooh. But I I suppose that's where part of the fun lies, old chap. Well, I suppose it does, yes. And of course, after having done that, you can then proceed on and find more quests. Uh, my, my dear, that, that was quite all right. Yes, indeed. Right, Don't okay. worry at all. So Let's have a look. She's and packing her bags. Okay, right. I think she's... Um, yes, all right. Okay. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right, so yes. Yes. We, okay. Okay. We gained them. Uh, we got some cash for that, didn't we? I it wasn't so. too bad. Yes, we gained some cash. And what do you think, sir? Right. Expedition time. I see. Righty-ho. Okay. Ah, we can now go on an expedition if we so wish, which is, of course, uh, shall we say, a voyage into the great beyond, where you can find all sorts of random monsters and encounters. And really? I'll just show you on the bottom screen that blue stamp down there. Ah, oh, the stamp. You can see, that is, in fact, what takes you onto expeditions. There's a new area there, too, I say. Right. If you'd like to go to the blue area, you will, of course, find many fun things down there. I can't get there for some reason. Oh, okay. there we are. Right. You can, in this case, hunt a velocidrome, if you so wish. Really? But we shan't do that for now, old boy. All right. I say to you, Vanilles, that's how to take out the great Jackie and also make good use of his parts. You know, it's quite fun, this game. Most certainly is, yes. The game's got a lot of, it's a lot of fun, lots of things to do in it, but you have to think. You can't just go and hacking, hacking away. You've got to craft your armour, get your weapons ready, make sure you've got enough food, gather your herbs, gather your mushrooms. Loads of things to do and you have to work it all out. Indeed, I see. But Anna is very pleased with the hunting today and do come back, Fiddles, so and we shall be showing you how to fell more large and nasty brutes in the next exciting outing of Monster Hunter for our ultimate. We'll be there, oh yes. Yes, indeed. Join us again, Fiddles. Give us a wave, Anna. Good girl. There we are. Well That's done, it. I say. We look forward to seeing you in the Fiddles. Join yes. us once more. Bye-bye.